yeah! Hey guys, it's Marche here. You're watching Exploring Music, and this is another episode of Learn Guitar in 10 Minutes or Less. So, you ready? Check it out! So I've shown you the one scale to rule them all and I know I've touched on a couple things beforehand so but I'm going to go in a little bit more detail on how to use that scale. So what are we going to do today? We're going to deal with picking, using a pick. All right, this is something I'm going to show you how to use that scale for soloing. It's really easy. Okay, so let's just have a look. Now when you're soloing you want to make the pick as small as possible. Let's try and get the focus on my hand. There. So you want to try and have that pick as small as possible. Ah, not focusing. Hello. So you want it tiny. Right now, the one rule with using a pick is you never use two fingers. Ah, three fingers. Like that. Two fingers and a thumb. So you never do that because it will slow you down. You use two fingers and there's many different ways of holding a pick. It's just whatever's comfortable for you. But just remember, like when you're strumming, you want it fairly out. So... And for soloing, you want it as tiny as possible. Now, this is just a really short, simple exercise. This is going to get your picking up to, up to scratch so you can play really, really fast. Um, and this is something that you can do just sitting on the couch watching TV, just get your guitar, if it's making too much noise, throw a towel or something over it, just to mute it so it's not making too much noise. Um, but yeah, you can practice this anytime. Now all we're going to do, now all we're going to do is go down, up, down, up. All right, so, the key here is you're going to have it even. All right, you want this picking to be even. You don't want... All over the shop. You want it nice and simple and nice and even. Just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you go as slow as you need to as long as it's in time. So even if it's down, up, down, up. Because as you get better with it, you're going to speed up naturally. So next thing you know, you just got a nice steady rhythm. So now what I want you to do here is do it on every string. So when you're sitting there, you're just getting it used to it. on the A string, do it on B string, oh D string, <laughs> yeah there's not much of a lesson, it doesn't seem like it's very important, uh, seems really dull and boring, that's why I say do it while you're watching TV. Okay, now you might be wondering why is this important? Well, this is just to get your hand going down and up, down and up. Because when you start soloing and all that sort of stuff, you're gonna wanna jump strings and you don't wanna go down, down, down. You don't wanna be all down or all up and trying to pick all over the place. So, you should be able to down, up, 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 down. So when we add it to a scale, like the scale that I've shown you, so down, up, down, up. All right, so it's all about just this hand, this lesson. So I just want you to be able to go nice and even. Because it's easier to break up the rhythm than it is to try and get it tight when you've learned it wrong. And like I said, even if it just is, takes you really 
you know, have to be, go really slow at first. If you've got a metronome, that works great. You know, there's a tick, tock, tick, tock. You know, if you're a metronome player, but you know, I think the ear is going to be all right for you here, especially when you're sitting there watching TV, just getting your hand going. just doing that so this is what's re this will really help especially up in the next lesson um, and yeah so let's get the right hand working get this thing really happening the way it should be because we're gonna get really funky with it real soon and that's the trick to this so yeah guys so if you like the video hit like I told you it was gonna be a short <laughs> short video but um, yeah it's real Real simple this one, but it's really important. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell for the future videos coming up because it's going to be teaching you a lot with soloing and all that real easy. And get practicing with your scale that I've already uploaded to the page. I'll add it to the end of here. So if you're watching it on the computer, you can just click on the link. But the link will be in the script description below as well. Anyway, guys, until next time, I'm Mark Shea. This is Exploring Music with Mark Shea. Guitar lessons, 10 minutes or less. Till next time, see ya!